Hello, I'm Mark Salibian, and it's a pleasure to discuss the article in this month's PRS entitled Oncoplastic Reconstruction and the Setting of Prior Cosmetic Augmentation by authors Luis Camacho and co-authors from the MD Anderson Cancer Center. This is a retrospective study of a large sample of patients, 142, at a high volume center and compares complication rates and patient satisfaction in those undergoing breast conserving therapy based on different management strategies for their pre-existing implants as well as different oncoplastic reconstruction techniques. There are several interesting and important findings from this study. Of the 94 patients that desired to keep their breast implants at the time of lumpectomy, whether that was with implant exchange or maintenance of the prior implants, complications as well as overall revision rates were similar compared to those that were explanted. This demonstrates the safety of breast implant maintenance in augmented patients undergoing breast conserving therapy. Patient reported outcomes were also similar across the various implant management strategies, which provides important information for counseling patients at the time of breast conserving surgery. The authors did note that the highest rate of complications, as well as revision and implant removal, occurred in patients undergoing downsizing of their implants and simultaneous mastopexy. This was attributed primarily to the mastopexy given it was one of three independent predictors of complications on a multivariate analysis. We should remember that oncoplastic breast reduction and mastopexy have been repeatedly demonstrated to be safe and reproducible techniques in multiple large studies. Here, the added complicating factor of an underlying implant has to be taken into consideration, where often minor complications such as wound healing problems or T-junction necrosis can have more serious implications with an underlying prosthesis. Importantly, no patients in the study had delay in their adjuvant radiation secondary to these complications. As breast augmentation remains one of the most common aesthetic surgery procedures, and data behind breast conservation surgery has become increasingly robust, the findings of the study are particularly relevant given the crossover between these two patient populations.